sense that people are really starting to wake up in certain places in their lives, even though the damage has been done, as I said, especially with our climate destruction. If our climate destruction were were not a climate destruction, we would have had a a bit of a space and time, so to speak, to to clear out a lot of things in our personal, in our interpersonal lives. But, you know, w- once the damage is done, some things will be resolved in the interpersonal sphere or not. But I suggest and um, con- I, I, would, I would consider just attempting to work on it regardless. Just work on your interpersonal relationships with people because that's the whole idea. It's about our humaneness. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Good morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the Consciousness, Love is Spoken Here. I'm Michelle Carithers. I thought I'd come on through on this new year, new problems, (laughs) January the 5th, 2024. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Well, I have been paying attention to a lot of things that's been going on on the social media platform, of course, uh, because basically in my in my reality, you know, <laughs> the place where I am, my space of where I am, it's pretty peaceful and calm, you know, in my environment. And I mean that literally, figuratively and metaphorically. But, you know, I love to pay attention to the social media platform because I, I like to know what is going on. I really do. And, um, you know, a lot of things are coming to a head, as they say, or we're coming to a sort of an end point. What I, what I call or what it's called is a culmination where a lot of things are going to be revealing, this, revealing themselves. So right now, um, you know, it, it's happening in the uh, in the uh, entertainment, you know, in the entertainment environment. You know, with the uh, some of the cultural icons that we grew up with, and and then how a lot of them are going back and forth, back and forth, um, clearing up, I guess, confusion, uh, clearing up what some are saying are lies and manip- manipulation and deception. You know, those kind of things are, in my opinion, were expected. And because that's all part of it, and, you know, because we're in the effects of things. OK, we're in the consequences of things. And so a lot of people are starting to wake up and realize, wait a minute, what have I allowed to happen on my watch? OK, when I knew that certain things were not true. So it's happening in the entertainment, so to speak, in the uh, cultural celebrity type environment right now. And so, you know, I'm paying attention. I'm, you know, kind of listening and 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 um, figuring out how I can pick up contradictions just for my own personal satisfaction. Because I have no control over what anyone is saying per se. I just I just enjoy, not necessarily enjoy, but I I um, sense that people are really starting to wake up in certain places in their lives. Even though the damage has been done, as I said, especially with our climate destruction. If our climate destruction were were not a climate destruction, we would have had a a bit of a space and time, so to speak, to to clear out a lot of things in our personal, in our interpersonal lives. But, you know, once the damage is done, some things will be resolved in the interpersonal sphere or not. But I suggests and um I I would I would consider just attempting to work on it regardless just work on your interpersonal relationships with people because that's the whole idea it's about our humaneness okay and less of our inhumaneness okay we are t- I mean we are so far off the charts as far as being out of control of good human nature in the true sense that like I said some of us have turned into monstrous type of people I put out a long video the other day, which kind of explained that, where some of our personalities have been so badly degenerated that a lot of people are going to just be swirling in that type of environment in their consciousness for for what, for whatever time is uh, set up for them, okay, to resolve that kind of stuff. 
And I also re- reintroduced the term that was taught to us about the clerics. Okay, I say that that's a uh, evolution of gaslighting, that type of personality where you can't tell whether it's a sheep or a wolf. You can't tell the sheeps from the wolves anymore or the wolves from the sheep. Everybody has, been, you know, like I said um, on my video, if you care to listen to it, it's, it's, it's pretty long. But, you know, when you have a time, have chance, what happens is that, I mean, evil evolves too, you know, not just positivity, you know, not, not just the positive aspects of life. Okay. You know, the negative evolves just as well as the positive. So you can't escape any of it. It all has to be resolved and neutralized in a proper sense. So I am not surprised at what is going on with everyone, how everyone is kind of, uh, kind of going back and forth about things and getting in and getting in a safe space. That's why we just really need to be careful about how we're talking on social media, because social media per se is not necessarily safe. And we ought to know that. But I understand that we, you know, a lot of people just want to get get the word out as best they can without interference. But we just need to make sure we're in the proper settings with each other. We, We need to make sure that we are, you know, being kind and gentle and friendly with people, which has nothing to do with whether you are masculine or feminine, male or female, or however you identify. There's there's nothing gender, you know, there's no gender of uh, agenda about being kind, gentle and friendly with people. OK, that says nothing about your manhood or your womanhood. OK, so we just need to make sure we are clear and effective as to how we are proceeding to handle these complexities that we have in life is a lot. Okay. It's a lot. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you, you're going to have to be thinking about that. Then you're going to have to be thinking about the, the actual genuine reality of your life. How are you going to feed yourself? How are you going to provide for yourself? All of those things are also going to be in the background. Okay. So there's no escaping anything, but making the effort is one thing, but walking the talk is another, you know, lo- talking is fine. Conversation and discussions are fine, but like I said, it has to be in the proper setting as well as understand that there's other factors to consider as well. It's about safety, okay? It's about the safety of your, your, your livelihood, safety of your, your, your being, your children, your wife, your husband, your lovers, your partners. It's about their, their safety and survival as well. So I, um, like I said, there was a word that was introduced to us. It was called cleric. And it's basically, like I said, it's, to me, it's an uh, it's the uh, evolution of gaslighting. What it, you know, what it's, like I said, what it signifies is that, you know, evil intentions also evolve as well. Okay. And it's so important to, you know, get yourself familiar with your thinking. Okay, what are you thinking about? You know, and 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 be be more concerned about yourself. Okay, than to worry about anyone else. Make sure you are grounded in your reality and you recognizing your personality traits and what's good about your yourself and what's bad about yourself. What are you lying about to yourself? Okay, what are you lying to about yourself? And are you attempting to always defend your ego and save face, okay, instead of recognizing, okay, I started this. This is coming from me, not from anyone else. And attempting to save face and present the same old arguments over and over again about how wonderful you think you are. That's ego. Your ego has not been suspended if you're doing that. And then all you do is do a revamp so to speak, of your rhetoric that you've held dearly for de- uh, for decades upon decades, thinking that the, the other problem, the other person is the problem, not me. Uh, you know, I'm perfect here. You know, you know, I'm 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 the jewel here. And so a lot of people are going to have a lot of revelations about their their own situation. And I and I and I caution everyone to don't be so don't be so. Concerned about whether somebody reaps what they reap what they've sown, okay? They will, <laughs> but you may not know that, and they may not share that they are 
And it's not our concern to know whether somebody is, but it's important to point it out that there's no such thing as chance. There's cause and effect. There's the boomerang. Okay. The boomerang is headed our way. Okay. We're, we're, we're at a culmination. We're in a culmination. Well, we're, we're, we're in a culmination that's spinning further, you know, and you know, in other words, what needs to move forward will move forward. And there's going to be a lot of people left behind. Okay. So I just want to get up this morning. I got a lot of running around to do. I'm taking some courses. I'm listening to webinars. You know, I'm just, you know, advancing my knowledge base, you know, based on the, uh, the projects I have in mind, the intentions and the purpose I have. And again, I want to say to my, my, my young people, get yourself focused and concentrated on what you want. And like I said, no one has to know. You don't have to share that with anyone. And um, I used to, <laughs> back in the day, I used to have my diaries. Hey, I said that. Men and women have different ways of expressing themselves. Uh, I had diaries. I used to, and then I started recording my voice just so I can remember. You know, just I just evolved myself, used various different types of tools. There is nothing to say that you cannot use tools. Okay, I started out meditating, just simple meditation. I, and then as I gradually got better with it, I incorporated certain type of tools, maybe sounds and tones, okay, which is important to pay attention to sounds and tones, especially coming out of your mouth. Pay attention to that. Are you, are you raging? Are you, are, are you tight and tense when you're talking to people? You know, or do you have that, uh, that, uh, nefarious smile on your face or that nefarious smirk when you know you, you're taking advantage of people and manipulating. Okay, pay attention to these cult light leaderships or these cult light groups of people. Okay, that 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 feel they feel no um again they they feel that they are it, that they're perfect, they have the best knowledge, they're doing the best thing, you know, and pay attention to the secret societies of people, okay? Know what's going on in your environment. Know how you can protect yourself from indoctrination, manipulation. You know, a lot of people have a lot of tools that are dangerous towards us, and especially if you spend a lot of time on the social media platform, whether you're playing video games, whether you're watching movies, whether you're doing this or that or the other, if you're on electronic or looking into electronic, okay, you are, you're, you're in it. You're in technology. And I know a lot of people are happy about advancement of technology. And I, I am too, because, I, because my intentions are pure. I mean, I, you know, I told you tools are, it's a tools. Technologies are tools to assist us, not to replace us and not to take on the, um, just take on our, our lives and, you know, there's nothing wrong with having convenience in life as well, but those conveniences are degenerate for a lot of us. You know, we, you know, we want to just sit back and kick, you know, kick back and, and allow our, allow our technology to run the show, which is nothing more than a replacement of your ego. A lot of people use these technologies, this social media platform, social media in general, internet in general to replace their ego or an addition to their ego. It's all ego-based because they're looking at, looking at themselves as perfect specimen of a human being when, in actual, when actually there's a tap on their shoulder constantly uh, re reminding them otherwise. Okay, work on yourself. You know, get out of your delusion, illusions, your hallucination, about how powerful you think you are, how wonderful you think you are, okay? When you and claiming you're helping people, when all you're doing is saving face, especially if you still, you know, anytime you have a failure, that's an opportunity. But what happens is usually people come back that have failed, miserable, you know, whether they were embarrassed or made to look like a fool, instead of, okay, brushing themselves off, taking it off the personal, making it impersonal, Asking questions, okay, how the hell did I get here? You know, have some fun with it. You know, a lot of people are too uptight, you know, and, and um, 
and they're restricted in their thinking because it's all about saving face. Nobody wants to be embarrassed. Who? I mean, who does? <laughs> okay. You know, no one wants to be called out. Okay. You know, so that's what's happening. You're going to have a lot of that back and forth, back and forth where people are saying, well, I'm telling you the truth. Then on the other side, I said, no, I'm telling you the truth. And I say it's irrelevant to us. We need to focus on, are we telling the truth within ourselves? That's all. That's the only thing we can control. We can't control what's coming out of that person's mouth versus the other. I have an idea who's telling truth or not, but that's not my responsibility to be, you know, I'm not going to necessarily engage it unless I sense that something that they are attempting to, you know, interfere with me per se, or, or, or uh, consider what I'm doing or being concerned about what I'm doing and, and, and attempting to um, discredit me, okay, target me, harass me. Okay, then, okay, I have a personal involvement and I'm, I'm going to handle it. Trust me, I will handle it and resolve it. And then I will move on peacefully towards my journey on my path, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't change with me. I constantly work on myself and evolve myself as best I can, as best I know how. Okay, and I take responsibility and I take accountability for my behavior. And again, it, for me, it's going to be so important, not only with other projects I, got, I have going on, but more importantly, to help to resolve these interpersonal relationships before we kill all of them, you know, before we hurt harm all of ourselves because we're so personal and so sensitive and, you know, and, and everything bothers us. You know, our emotions are all over the place. And that's with males and females. Okay. And more so with males in my opinion, uh, in my experience, all this emotional, you know, upheaval and out of control emotions and then take it and keep in mind, you know, with the strengths and with men and women, you know, there's a difference in strength with men and women for a reason. Okay. But that has nothing to do with, you know, our assigned genders and our assigned perceptions of what male and females are supposed to do. Okay. So I'm going to talk more about that as well in the coming times. So uh, I just want to go ahead and uh, put this out in the new year. You know, new year, new problems. That's a question mark. Is it? Is it a new year, new problems? Or is it just the same circular deja vu, deja vu, deja vu? Are you living that way? If you are, you need to, you know, you need to do everything in your power to to grab a hold of that wheel. Okay. And if you need to go park somewhere, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, go park somewhere until you can figure out, okay, am I on the right destin am I on the right journey to the destination I see? Okay. Evolution of the consciousness. Love is spoken here. My name is Michelle Carithers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at missmichellecarithers at gmail.com.